Alright, what's up guys? We are back with more Half-Life. Uh, Half-Life 2, that is. <sighs> Whenever Black Mesa gets finished, I'll do that too. Uh, I haven't bought it yet because uh, it's still in early access stage. And I see no reason to buy it yet when early access stage is pretty much the same as the free version. But whenever that does get released, we will be doing it. I'm also probably going to do Brutal Doom or something. Like the new version that's coming out of that. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to uh, open the gate. Hold on. Y'all like them jump skills. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, I intended to do Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5. Hold on, let me turn the volume down on this, because it's a bit loud in my ear. Alright, that'll do. Anyway, uh, I intended to do Resident Evil 5 and then Ada's campaign for Resident Evil 4, but things didn't go as planned because the games kept cr fucking crashing. Precise reason I really try not to do PC gaming. I mean, like, the mods are great, but besides that, like, it's too unreliable at times. But uh, since I like Half-Life so much, like, it's just a really simple engine, but it works. And that's what I love about it. Like, all this still looks good ten years later, which is just mind-blowing to me. But uh, since I like Half-Life so much, I said, fuck it. PC version is superior, because mods, and uh, that was that. So we will be doing a lot of Half-Life mods until I can uh, get myself an Elgato HD, I guess. Uh, I'm well on my way to getting it, though. Like, next paycheck, I should have what I need. But uh, until then, Half-Life mods. And Half-Life. Anyway, which is good for me, because I can use this stuff as kind of like, you know, practice. So once I get into, like... Uh, legit gaming type of stuff, it's going to be really hard to, you know, make mistakes, so it's kind of like my practice, ah oh, shit, damn, oh fuck, oh shit, but yeah, this is like my way of uh, practicing and honing my skills and shit, so I mean it is what it is. that? Well, obviously, that's a roadblock, but, um, so do I just... Bad idea. What do I do now? There's obviously something I'm missing. Oh, okay. Apparently I won't need this vehicle anymore. Up the ladder. It might get rough. Everything. Well, right, let's see if we can check this building real fast. Nothing. Yeah, all right, we're good. God damn it, suit. Shit. Ooh. We've got something. Oh. Okay, it's it's human. Hello. Take it easy in there. You're safe now. Oh. We'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. 
I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. Okay. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Well then. We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a post-doc. I'm just so excited to think that we're finally just checking to see if I can shoot. Together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. Alright, good. Keep right on. Alright. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My god, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, Damn. it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Look around at what? Okay, teleportation devices. What's all this for? I'm just touching on stuff I shouldn't be touching I'm on. I'm still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest things. I'm sure she does. Can I climb this? <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Oh, Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. Okay. Fine scientist, Judith. She was up for your job at Black Mesa, but you edged her out with your Innsbruck experience. Innsbruck experience. Damn. Oh, hi there. Oh, Gordon. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh, well. Okay, so do I just, like, you know... Take a look at this, Gordon. What is this? Okay, so what is it? Alex! I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. 
Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Ooh, Come on, Gordon. Gravity gun. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. Okay. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Oh, why not? So we're just gonna stand here awkwardly, or what? I like your jacket, though. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Goddamn load screens, man, I'm telling you. Oh shit. So, here we are. The scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. Oh the shit. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it by. Yes, bitch. Oh, shit. So I just... The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Bitch! Oh, shit. <laughs> you can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. Come here, bitch. Oh, shit. Alright, All right, what now? See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. Or I could just climb like you did. Ugh. Shit. I'm gonna put you right here. And you. It's too bad. Stacking some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the press the press the same trigger again to drop it gently. I think I got it, All Alex. All right. Bitch. Are we good? Beware, dog. Ah. Oh. No. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Uh, oh, no, you don't. Oh, shit. Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Okay. Go ahead, dog. Throw! Oh, what the fuck? Good catch! Oh, Go another, dog. Damn! Another one, dog. Right in the fucking face. <laughs> Shit. Got it. Go ahead, dog. Throw. Come on. Give it up. Give it up. 
got it. Excellent. Dog, go get your ball. Uh oh. Holy shit. Oh, that's not the wall. That's the wall. Is he gonna go get it? Or what? Climb that? Oh no, no, he's not. Got it. Got it. There you go, buddy. Okay, Gordon, let's try something else. Okay. Uh, throw something bigger. If you throw that fucking garbage can. Actually, you know what, guys? It's going to do it for this part. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, share this video around. Share it with your friends. Share it with other YouTubers. I don't care. Just see what you can do. We'll see you in the next part. I will catch you later, guys.